Now, Japan's continual denials of its past wrongdoings are seemingly becoming more and more brazen. Instead of showing some form of remorse for its sexual enslavement of thousands upon thousands of women before and during World War II, Japan has decided to turn even more in the other direction. Our Kim Minji reports. The frosty ties between Korea and Japan are unlikely to thaw anytime soon. The Japanese government says it will actively promote that Japan has committed no sins as it pertains to the forced sexual enslavement of women during wartime. This in reaction to the Asai Shimbun newspaper, which in early August retracted what it called erroneous articles published in the 80s and 90s about the sexual slavery issue. In a written statement, the Japanese government said it will strengthen foreign communications so that their stance in handling of affairs receives a fair assessment by the international community. That echoes what the Japanese prime minister has said. Due to false reports by the Azahai Shimbun, we must work to recover Japan's honor. Adding fuel to the fire, a top cabinet official who has spearheaded efforts to deny the Japan sexually enslaved woman during World War II says she will visit a controversial war shrine that honors A-class war criminals. When time allows, I will visit the Yasukuni Shrine. Japan's chief cabinet secretary, Yoshida Suga, said there's nothing wrong with paying respect to those who lost their lives while fighting for the country. The Japanese foreign ministry also recently said it will step up its false claims to Korea's easternmost Tokyo Island. And with Korea demanding that Japan acknowledge and show sincerity about its historical wrongdoings, it seems highly unlikely that summit talks will be held anytime soon with their stances on diverging paths. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.